Hi everyone, this is Kodesha. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to restore the LEGO Mindstorms NXT set. These are the topics we're going to be talking about. First, we're going to make sure that you have all the parts in the set. I'm going to talk about the common issues that you may experience with this set. Since I have a Mac running Mac OS Catalina, uh, it does not run the NXT programming environment, so I'll be installing VirtualBox and Windows XP so that I can install the NXT software. And finally, I hope you're going to have a lot of fun. There are a few versions of the Mindstorms NXT. Um, doesn't really matter which one you get because the brick is the same, but uh, there's a slight difference in the mix of the sensors. The Home Set 8527 was the first version to be released. It comes with three large motors, the programmable brick, ultrasonic, two touch sensors, one light sensor, and one sound sensor. This was superseded by the 8547 set. This also has a programmable brick, three large motors, ultrasonic sensor, and touch sensors, but the light sensor has been replaced with a color sensor and the sound sensor is no longer included. If you do get the sound sensor though, it'll still work, so not a problem there. For the education market, uh, we have set number 9797. This also comes with three large motors, ultrasonic sensor, touch sensors, light and sound sensors. There's not a lot of parts in this set because it's designed to be used with an expansion set. So the earlier one was set number 9648 and the later one is set number 9695. Uh, Lawrence Wall has a very good uh, article on his website uh, which talks about the differences between all these sets. I highly recommend you check this out. And uh, all these links will be in the description of this video. So here are all the parts which are available for the uh, home, education and expansion sets. You can check them all out on BrickLink. And these are the parts that I have in my education set. This shows you the programmable brick, the motors, the sensors, the cables, the power adapter, and the wheels. And here are the parts which come with the set. Note that one of the gray, dark gray gear wheels is missing from my set, but uh, it's fairly easy to get them if you, if you want them. These are parts in the 9695 expansion set. As you can see, there's a huge number of parts to be found in this set. Couple of common issues that we're going to talk about. First, the NXT brick uh, does not display anything. This always happens, well, not to say always, but is a very common problem as the bricks age. Uh, the, Connection between the LCD display and the circuit board um, tends to degrade over time, so you may experience this. The video I've linked uh, shows you a very interesting way of uh, using a little software on your computer to mirror whatever is on the brick. And I think um, this is a solution, hopefully that is uh, useful for a lot of people, uh, especially people like myself who don't know one end of a soldering iron from the other. and. Uh, don't feel like taking the brick apart to try and fix it. The second issue is called the clicking brick syndrome. That's when you turn the brick on and then it just clicks uh, non-stop. This is because the firmware uh, of the brick is missing. It is in firmware update mode. Lego has a good article on their website which talks about how to uh, recover from the clicking brick syndrome. So next we're going to install the software. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm using Mac OS Catalina. So I will install VirtualBox. And uh, this is a free software that you can get from the internet. Uh, the link uh, for VirtualBox is on the slide and also in the description. And I also have a video that shows you how to install VirtualBox on a computer running Mac OS Catalina. Next you'll want to install the NXT software. Now, LEGO only has the software for the 857 set. It'll work with all the NXT bricks, so that's not a problem there. But if you want the building instructions for the 8527 set, then you'll need to go to the link on this page that I show on this page to get the earlier version of the NXT software. 
Um, I still highly recommend the later version of the NXT software because it does not crash as often. But if you need the building instructions, go ahead and download uh, the earlier version, the one that came with set 8527. The software that comes with uh, set number 9797, this used to be something that you had to purchase, but now LEGO have made it freely available at this link. Uh, the final link that I have on this slide is the building instructions uh, for the combined models that you can build with the 9797 set and the 9695 expansion set. Unfortunately, I've not been able to find the programs for it and I've also not been able to find the building instructions for the combination models that you can build with the 9797 set and the 9648 set. Uh, if anyone um, has these, uh, maybe you could leave a link in the uh, maybe you can uh, let me know and then uh, I'll be able to uh, put it up online. So here's a video uh, that shows you how to install the NXT software. Link uh, is in the, in, the in the description. One of the nice features of the NXT brick is that it comes with a set of uh, built-in test programs. So you can test uh, the sensors and motors to see if they're working without having to install the software. And there's also a very simple programming environment uh, provided on the brick itself. It allows you to do up to five steps. Um, and the last step is either you stop the program or you do a loop. And you can actually do things like a simulated Roomba or you can do things like a line follower, even with this very simple environment. So this is super handy. One of the cool things about the NXT is that you can provide sorry, one of the cool things about the NXT is that you can program it with the EV3G software. Now, this is not the later scratch-based EV3 software. This is uh, the earlier EV3G software which you can use to program your EV3 brick. So, I've got a, a playlist which shows you how to program your NXT using this software. So, link is in the in, in the description. And you can also program it with NXT Python. I found this video online which shows you how to install the NXT Python software on your computer so that you can do text-based programming for the NXT brick. So also, again, uh, all these will be in the description. So I hope this uh, has been informative and uh, I hope uh, this will allow you to resurrect your NXT bricks. They're a lot of fun. Uh, they've still got a lot of life in them. I really like them. And uh, I, I think uh, I'll probably be putting up some more videos about the NXT bricks soon. So for now, thanks for watching and uh, have fun.